following on from the video I did on rotating magnetic field, um, I'm just covering, going to cover uh, how we can reverse the direction of a two-phase AC motor. So if we have a two-phase motor and let's assume the power is coming in uh, on this line here for the first phase and coming in on this line here for uh, phase two. Then at time one, uh, no current through these windings, so there's no magnetic field. Uh, current at a maximum in this winding. So let's assume we get a north pole here and a south pole there. Then at time equal to two, um, we have some current coming in on phase two, so there'll be some current coming through in through here. So we will have a north pole at this point here. We'll have a south pole here. There's also current in on phase one. So the north pole here, south pole here, but the flux lines can't cross. So we'll take up an intermediary position somewhere around there. So the north pole has moved from here in time one down here in time two. And at time three, uh, current through this winding here is zero. And current through this winding is at a maximum. So the north pole has moved from there to there to there, which means the rotating magnetic field is rotating anti-clockwise. And if we had a, a rotor inside it, it would follow it. So the rotor would rotate anti-clockwise. Now, what happens if we flick the switch here? Well, when we flick the switch, the current now goes in on this winding. So our north pole is down here and south pole is now up here. So it has moved over. So at time equal to one, north pole here, south pole there. There's no current through here. So um, the magnetic field is in this position. At time two, well, there is current coming through uh, winding two. So we haven't changed the phase here. So the current is still coming in on this winding. So we get a north pole here, a south pole there. And there's still some current through this winding. So we're going to get our north pole here, south pole here. Flux lines can't cross. So um, so there's the two flux lines, so they, can't, they can not cross, so we have to take up an intermediary position, which will be somewhere there. So the North Pole has moved from there to there. Then at time three, it's coming in in this winding, and a uh, phase one, uh, this is zero. So our flux lines will be there. So basically the, the, the North Pole has moved from there to there to there and that's in a clockwise direction. So we can see by reversing the direction of one of the phases, we can change the direction of rotation of the rotor. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, looking forward to your comments.